Bedevi, Veľká Jasme, tá aj svojí a veľký šat bez nádraža ešte o nové tebe. Káce ste vláčenom a káce bez žena a ten je tríbra. My pokračujeme tebe. Hello, um, my name is Alex Kalagnamos and I'm a film festival producer and I just watched the film The Good Samaritans. I was extremely moved by this film, I was extremely touched by this film. Um, most of all, I was impressed by the level of research that was conducted to bring together the different narratives of the Armenian Genocide, the Greek Genocide, the Assyrian Genocide. My grandmother fled Harpert, and so it was for the first time I actually saw her, her I've never seen Harpert, and, and, and to, to hear all the, the background about it. And I'm so grateful to be able to have seen this beautiful film. Welcome everyone. My name is Dr. Paul Levine, originally a Holocaust historian. I've now started doing some research and I'm writing a book about the Armenian Genocide. Part of the motivation from, me, from my current research and wanting to write a book about the Armenian Genocide is this place. My older brother and I used to walk by every day on our way to school, we called this the Armenian Old People's Home. It was built in 1931, I couldn't have known this at the time, as a rehabilitation center for survivors of the genocide. And what I remember most vividly is after they would have festivities or commemorations, my brother and I would come in and collect Coke bottles for deposit. From here? From here, from the garden. My most vivid memory is of the gloved hands, missing fingers. And as a little what child, missing fingers? we know the Turks would cut off hands and fingers as part of the, the torture. This is the Armenian town of Zaytun in the Silicon Mountains. This is where the deportation started in the early part of April 1915. Uh, these are uh, the Armenian men of Zaytun who were arrested. Yeah, if you look closely at the picture, they're roped up. They're on their way to execution. These are the Turkish officials standing on top in a very symbolic expression of their domination of the Armenians. So the, during the entire course of the, of the genocide, the United States was a, a neutral party mm -hmm. from the start of World War I. So there was American representation, ambassadorial and consular across the uh, Ottoman Empire. They were all witnesses. Many Americans, American businessmen, American missionaries. To Honorable Ambassador, Sir, it is no longer a secret that a special plan seeks to exterminate Armenians as a nation. In one of many reports to U.S. Ambassador Henry Morgenthau, Leslie Davis emphasizes, I do not believe there has ever been a massacre in the history of the world so general and thorough as that which is now being perpetrated in this region or that a more fiendish, diabolical scheme has ever been conceived by the mind of men. These photographs are silent pictures of the unspeakable brutality of the organized extermination of Armenians and are still shocking. For the Paris conference, Davis secretly prepares a 132-page typewritten report on the events of 1915 to 1917. Hayot Siras Pantian, Hedevankov, Armada Khalvads, Deran Vads, Armenian children, exterminated, deported, subjected to genocide, orphaned, broken, and horrified as a result of the Armenian genocide, needed help. Each missionary movement had its own mission. In 1881, Clara Barton founded the American Red Cross. I read that she was in Armenia. Yes, that was in 1896. I particularly was drawn 
to uh, a phrase on this sheet where Mary Bonham was describing the Turkish attempt to blame the missionaries for the massacres.